Obviously the sales tax stuff is typically internal. You're not usually gonna be running a report on your sales tax liability detail for, for to give to a client on a monthly basis oftentimes. Employees, usually internal, because this is usually a bunch of data that you're gonna need in order to generate your quarterly reports and so on and so forth. So if you, that's just overwhelming detail of reports. Oftentimes, if you were to give that to a client, it, they wouldn't know what to do with it oftentimes, right? So you just, so then we've got the for the accountant. Most of this by definition are kind of internal because they're for accountant usage, but some of them of course are what you give the tax preparer, which are the financial statements that they have the duplicate. So I, account list, the balance sheet, uh, that's a replica. So those are both internal and external balance sheet, general ledger. That's not something you probably provide to like a client on a, on a monthly basis. It's a long detailed list. It's, it would be kind of burdensome. They wouldn't know what to do with it, but your the accountant might ask for that or might use it when you give them access to your uh, account. Same with the journal report. You're probably not gonna give that to a client every month, but you can use it. It could be quite useful for internal usage. Profit and loss, these are redundant. These are both internal and external. That's the P&L. Recent automatic transactions, that's internal typically. Recent transactions, reconciliations, typically internal. You're not usually giving the bank reconciliations to the client on a monthly basis. You're just gonna do them. And then recur recurring template, statement of cash flows, internal and external because you might add that to your to your monthly reporting because that's one of the major financial statements although so then we got your transaction detail list these are all detail lists similar to the general ledger you're not going to give those to a client usually on a monthly basis maybe if you're doing your billing based on that you might show that as evidence of, of how much you build them or something like that but typically they're internal trial balance balance sheet and income statement on top of each other internal report quite useful like many of these are but not something you provide to the client because the whole point is that you don't provide something to the client that has debits and credits even though that's more efficient than the double entry accounting system represented in an accounting equation because they don't understand debits and credits right but that can be a quite useful report